Hey guys, Caitlin here, and for this week's episode, I wanted to talk about how to approach altered mental status in the emergency department. So altered mental status can range from anywhere to um, clouded sensorium and confusion to an altered state of consciousness. And altered mental status can be seen in up to 50% of hospitalized elderly patients and up to 10% of overall hospitalized patients. So its prevalence is definitely worth knowing. Unfortunately, its differentials are quite broad. So let's get started. Frequently, an acute medical illness is the cause of altered mental status, especially when a patient is presenting to the emergency department. Um, but sometimes no causes of the altered mental status can be identified or an acute on chronic dementia type picture can be attributed. Um, but I like to separate altered mental status into three umbrella causes, the first of which is that acute medical cause, uh, the second is a neurologic cause, and the third, psychiatric cause. So let's get started with that. So when it comes to acute medical illnesses, infection is a big player in this department, um, especially infection in the elderly as the elderly tend to present with altered mental status in the case of when they have an illness. Um, the two most common causes of altered mental status overall are UTIs and pneumonia, especially in the elderly. Again, I must stress that. Um, and if there is concomitant altered mental status in a younger patient with concomitant fevers and maybe some neck stiffness, um, you can probably tell where I'm going with this, you should put meningitis on your differential um, and go from there. So as I more readily think about infections in older people causing that altered mental status, um, when it comes to a younger patient, I more readily think about drug or alcohol overdose and or withdrawal from either of those. Um, obviously, this can happen in an older individual as well, uh, but more often I will see an older patient that just started so-and-so medication and is now having the side effect of altered mental status. So I see that more often. Um, Another acute medical illness that I often see with older individuals is any type of organ failure. So you can see uh, Wernicke's encephalopathy, um, hepatic encephalopathy with liver failure, thyroid storm, or uh, myxedema coma with thyroid disease, um, or even hypertension encephalopathy. Other things to consider for uh, the medical illness causing an altered mental status are endocrine abnormalities like HHS uh, or DKA, electrolyte abnormalities, metabolic abnormalities, um, and sometimes myocardial infarction and or arrhythmias can cause altered mental status, but obviously would have other signs and symptoms to suggest this. And then lastly, never forget about trauma, which tends to be more presenting and um, obvious in presentation, um, but never forget about a brain hemorrhage um, and any individual on a blood thinner, keep this on your differential as they are more likely to have spontaneous hemorrhages in their brain. So when it comes to a neurologic umbrella cause of altered mental status, um, other than meningitis and trauma, which are more obvious in presentation because meningitis will have that fever, and neck stiffness, and then trauma would obviously have any type of facial lacerations or the chief complaint of trauma. Um, I obviously think of dementia and stroke. So with dementia, obviously an acute case of worsening dementia, usually caused by a medical illness of some sort, and then a stroke, which would obviously have other neurologic findings on exam. So it is very important that you do a complete neuro exam on any patient that has altered mental status, um, especially if you are highly suspicious of stroke, if they have a history of stroke at all, or any risk factors of stroke like hypertension, diabetes, or hip hyperlipidemia. The last umbrella cause of altered mental status is the psychiatric causes. Um, depression, schizophrenia, and bipolar disorder can be so severe at times that this can alter their normal relationship with the environment by hallucinations or delusions. Also, the medications they go on have so many side effects and that can also cause some altered mental status as well. Also, because of this altered mental status and psychosis often seen in psychiatric illnesses, it can cause patients to 
forget about taking their medications every day or accidentally overdose or unfortunately intentionally overdose on their medication, also causing that altered mental status and overdose that I mentioned before and the medical causes. So psychiatric patients are overall at an increased risk for altered mental status in the emergency department. Now, remembering these three umbrella terms for altered mental status can be easy, but remembering everything underneath can be a little more difficult. Um, I just learned about this new mnemonic, A-E-I-O-U, tips that can really cover your basis for all the causes of altered mental status. So you can see the A-E-I-O-U tips laid out here. So the A can stand for anything from alcohol, ammonia, which is that buildup from liver failure, acidosis, arrhythmias, E can stand for endocrine abnormalities, electrolyte abnormalities, or in type of encephalopathy, I is and stands for infection, which is the most common cause, O can stand for oxygen, opiates, or overdose, U can stand for any type of uremia, or so kidney failure, T can stand for obvious trauma, or thiamine, which can be in liver failure, um, I stands for insulin, so that can be any type of endocrine abnormalities with diabetics. P for poisoning, so that kind of goes over um, overdose. And P for psychiatric problems. S for stroke, shunt, seizures, so a post state and seizures or syncope. Mm -hmm.